Okay, so now we're looking at the scapula. Okay, and we can see with the scapula, uh, the first few things that really poke out at you, literally and figuratively, uh, is the spine here. Okay, so this pokes out uh, dorsally on the body, so towards the back there. You can see it has two processes that sit here on the top, the acrimonial process and the coracoid process. And then you have the glenoid cavity, which is where the head of the humerus is going to articulate with the scapula here. You have an inferior angle towards the bottom. So if the head of my humerus articulates here in the glenoid cavity, that makes this my lateral side of the scapula. So this is my lateral border and my medial border. The fossas on these are associated with the spine. So we have the infraspinatus below spine and the supraspinatus fossa. On the back side, flip it over here, uh, we have the subscapularis fossa. You also have this notch right here. Okay, This is called the supra scapular notch. 